Hey, and welcome to the Izzy Chinche Show. What is the worst case scenario? I was like, I quit my job, I work on my business, it fails. I'm not making any money. Let's say Mitchell loses his job, he's not making money. We can't pay our mortgage. I am so pumped that you tuned in. My goal with the show is to inspire and motivate you to the best of my abilities. I believe our world needs more leaders, and I believe that you, my listener, are a leader, and that you have the opportunity to impact your community and family by simply being you. I truly am here to try and serve and offer value to your life, and if you enjoy the show, it would mean the most to me if you could please either rate, subscribe, or share the show with anyone who you think might benefit from listening. Together, we can make this world a better place. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you love today's episode. Welcome. I'm excited to be doing this today. I've actually tried to record this podcast three different times now, and something's gone wrong every single time. (laughs) So (sighs) it's taking a breath to appreciate the fact that this is actually happening, and I actually get to be here. I think part of me was getting frustrated because of the process that like was going I was going through and trying to record this podcast but I realized I was like this is the test this is part of the test I'm supposed to, I, I'm taking it as a test right like the challenge is there it's frustrating and I'm realizing there's such value in being a flexible human like people who are flexible just do better in life If you are not flexible, you're just going to struggle. You're going to struggle because life does not go the way that you planned. Things just don't go the way you planned. So if you can't be flexible, you're going to have a really hard time functioning. So all that aside, today I'm doing something different. Not even different. I'm just starting a trend, something that I want to start doing monthly. Every month, I want to give you a podcast of pure motivation, inspiration, get you hyped. Because I've always said, I want to be a motivational speaker. When I was really young, I was like, I want to be a motivational speaker. I think that's what I want to do. And I'm like, well, I don't need to wait for anything. I'm just going to do it now. So if you are looking for some motivation and you feel that you need some motivation, you need to get pumped up, then you are in the right place. This is the podcast for you. And I'm going to start by saying this. Right now, there is something in your life that you want, that you are destined for, that for some reason you're not going for. You're not going for it. And maybe you know the reason or maybe you don't know the reason. But that reason doesn't actually even matter. The point is you have something that you are meant to go for, something that you are designed for, that you were born for, to have impact with, and you're not doing it. And life is so, so short. It is too short to not go for the thing, whether it's starting a business, starting the podcast, just having the inspirational Instagram page, uh, trying a new type of workout, whatever it is, opening in a gym, I don't care. It's too short to not go for it. And I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what qualification you're waiting for or how much time needs to pass before you're going to actually capitalize on it. Because I hear people talk about this. They're like, well, my real dream is to fill in the blank. My real dream dream is to be a gym owner. My real uh, dream is to have a YouTube page where I create jewelry or whatever. And that's it. That's my real dream. And I'm not going for it because I have all these limiting beliefs and I need some help getting out of those. So that's why I am talking to you today because you have some stupid limiting beliefs that are keeping you away from going from after the thing that you actually want to go for. So a year ago today, or a year ago from now, I was still working my corporate job. And I didn't like it. I was working for someone else. I knew I was making someone else super rich. And I really didn't like showing up every day or I was like hybrid. I didn't like showing up 
in an office for someone else, not being able to do what the heck I wanted to do. And I really didn't like that I had to wear certain things. Like, I don't want to be told what I can and cannot wear. I just don't. It just, it, I don't like that kind of control. Didn't enjoy it at all. And so I started to step, I was like, okay, I'm going to start a business and I'm going to leave my corporate job and I'm going to go after this dream. I decided, I was like, well, it's way too short. Like life is too short to not do that. I can't spend the summer not doing what the heck I want to be doing every single day. I was like, there's no way I can do that. And so it was scary. It was so scary to do that. And that's probably where you're at right now. Like you think I'm going to start the page. I'm going to start the thing, but you're so scared. And there's, <laughs> there's really not a lot of reason to be scared uh, because to actually fail at, at trying to make money, like you're not, you're not going to fail, like, <laughs> cause you're just going to keep on trying and eventually something's going to happen. But here's what I did. This is what helped me. I went to the worst case scenario possible. I said, okay, what is the worst case scenario? I was like, I quit my job. I work on my business. It fails. I'm not making any money. Let's say Mitchell loses his job. He's not making money. Um, we can't pay our mortgage. What do I do then? And I'd be like, okay, what can we do? Can we move in his parents? Yes. I, put, I move in with his parents. Can I come back from that? Yes. Like, and I just went to the worst case scenario and I worked my way out of that case scenario every single time. And like, to the point I'd be like, okay, if that happened, I could literally go get a job tomorrow at McDonald's and they're paying $20 an hour. Like I literally would go through exactly whatever I needed to do to work my way out of it. And there is such freedom in that. And it's so relieving to just face your biggest fear. Right. So when you actually like, we just, we just don't, we don't want to look at our fears because it's our fears. Like, so we're just like, you know, I'm going to not really look at it. And then I'm just going to keep doing the thing and going through the motions and not truly going for what I want in my life. But at least I don't have to face it. But the thing is, once you actually face those fears, they lose power because you realize you are a capable, capable, confident human being who can figure it out and work your way out of it. And sometimes like our fears is so small, like it's just like, oh, I just won't have a consistent paycheck. I, especially if you're an entrepreneur or someone who wants to own a business, like that's your biggest fear. That it's really, it's, it's not, I actually thought it was going to be harder than it is and has been and was. I actually thought it was going to be way harder. But it, for me, it's been like eight, nine months. I'm making more than I was making in corporate and I'm doing fine. And we're, we're, all, we're only going to scale. And I want that for you. It will be hard though. I will say that. I don't want to paint this picture that it's not going to be hard. I think I just, in my mind, it was one of the best things that I did. I prepared myself for hell. I was like, this is going to be brutal. I'm going to want to quit every single day. And honestly, it, it hasn't been that at, at all. But I will say the start is the hardest. The start is 100% the hardest. Because the start, what happens is typically this. You start you get some momentum and then you get obstacle, rejection, setback over and over and over and over again. And what's happening is the way the world works, the way the universe works, I just like find this to be true, is you get tested. You get tested to see if you actually want that thing that you're going for, right? So it's not that it's not meant for you. It's it's sending these obstacles and these in these blocks to see are you actually willing to do the work that's required to get the life style the goal whatever that you want and in those first like i don't even think it's 6 months i think it's like 3 to 4 months i have seen so many people quit so many entrepreneurs so many business owners just quit because they don't get that immediate Gratific gratification. They don't get that immediate result. And I'm here to tell you, like, you're not going to get that. <laughs> you're not going to get that. But it, it poses as such a beautiful opportunity because now when something doesn't go the way that I wanted it to go and like, I don't get the feedback that I wanted, I get a step in this mindset. And the mindset is this, it's 
the future version of Izzy, who has X amount of dollars, this amount of accomplishments, whatever it is, how would she handle navigating this specific obstacle? And then I try and embody that and be that, and I handle that situation like so. And then it's this, it's like you flipped it and you get to tell the universe and the world, you're like, oh, dude, send it my way because I'm ready to be that next version of me. I am so ready. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready for the, the hard part, right? I, I'm ready for it because I'm just going to be able to think like the next greatest version of myself and then be one step closer. That has been absolutely game changing for me. I've started to like implement that in pretty much even my relationships. I'm like, okay, future version of Izzy, how would she handle this conflict with, you know, this person that's acting in, in such a way? I do want to get back to the motivation piece though, okay? Because I told you I was here to inspire you. Okay, so I want you to think about that dream that you really want, that life that you really want, that goal that you really, really, that you really want. It, you want it for a reason. You don't want it just because you're like, mm, that'd be nice to have. No, you want it for a reason. And once you start actually going for it, you're going to feel so much like yourself. People are like, oh, you're going to feel like new. No, no, no. You're going to feel like you, not going to feel new. Because right now, if you are not going for the things that you actually want, you're not truly being yourself. You're being this like dimmed version of yourself and you're carrying all these limiting beliefs and these lifestyle um, habits that you think you should be playing into because you're like, oh, this is what we do in society and we follow the rules and we blah, blah, blah. And, you, and you're carrying that. So you're like, this is the lane for that. And it's away from actually who you are. The person that you are is like, dude, I am waiting. Can we just start going for it? Yes. Here's your permission. Go for it. Go for the thing that you want. Go for it. There is no reason. Like, life is so short. I think about this so often. It's so, so short. It's too short for me to not go after the things that I want. It is too short for you to not go after the things that you truly want. Like we don't have time. What, we're gonna just be like, oh, well, I'm super glad I just, you know, lived my life and played it really safe and never did anything epic. Like that's, <laughs> that is not what I wanna say on my deathbed. I don't wanna do that. I wanna, I, I, that's not the legacy that I wanna leave. I wanna be like, dude, I went for it. I tried the things. Yeah, I failed, but I tried the things. Like failing is not that bad. It's really not. Like, and it's not even failing. It's just figuring it out. I think we put too much weight. We're like, oh my gosh, I, I failed. I messed up. I blah, blah, blah. Like, no, that's just, <laughs> that's part of growing. You watch little kids, they fall all the time. They don't fall and go, oh my gosh, I failed. I have failed at walking. <laughs> I have failed at running. No, they fell and then they got back up and then they kept running. And it's like, don't, don't take it like failure. Don't take it that way. It doesn't need to be that way. And don't be afraid of it. There's, trust me, there's not, I'm, I'm like just on the other side. I am not, it's not that bad when I fail, when I fail. It's really, it's really not. I, I'm like, I used to get anxiety about it. i be like, oh my gosh, so embarrassing. I messed up on my podcast. I said, um, so much. I misspelled for those, of you know, I'm dyslexic, dysgraphic. And I would like post a podcast and the actual name on the podcast could be spelled wrong and the description. That was like really hard for me. I was like, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why? Why is this embarrassing? It doesn't need to be embarrassing. I don't need to take that personally. Right. And now as I'm stepping in to my actual potential and I'm going for the freaking thing that I want, which as I'm going, I'm getting more and more clear on what I want. Because I actually did for a while. I thought I wanted to work corporate. I thought I wanted to do that. I was wrong. Uh, but the only reason I learned that is because I did it. 
But then I didn't get there and stay in it. Because how many, how many of us, if you're, maybe you're this person that you're like, well, I, th- I thought I was going to like the job too. And it's okay. The job is okay. So I should just stay here because it's good enough and it pays the bills. I was not going to do that. I only lasted that job nine months. I said, I'm super glad I tried this. I am not continuing doing this though. I am moving on. I'm going to the next thing. And then I got in the next thing. And as I've taken action, I've gotten so much more clear on the direction that I'm going. I've gotten so much more clear. I've I've started to realize, I'm like, oh, I don't want to just own a soccer coaching business. I want to own the greatest online soccer academy that has ever existed. But I never would have even had that thought if I hadn't like just started, started the business, right? And then, and that's that thing, like action creates clarity. So you, I also want to say this because you might have something that you think you really want to go for. You're like, my dream is to make furniture online uh, on YouTube and sell it. And then you start doing it and you're like, <laughs> actually, no. I just want to have the free time to do that whenever I want to do that. I don't want to run a business doing that. And so you're like, okay, well, what's something that I would be willing to do that would allow me to do that all day? And you're like, okay, maybe I own this business or maybe I bring people in and I have them make it and I'm the seller. Maybe I just want to sell it. Maybe it like, and then make it for fun on my own. Right. And then you, you'll figure out how to fit into like your niche and what it actually is, but you'll never ever learn unless you take action and your life, your dreams, they are, they are waiting. Like I feel it in me. I get so excited because I literally feel your dreams are waiting for you to take action. They are. They're sitting there. They're like, please, please. And they're telling you, like, it's going to be hard. You're going to face some rejection, but just come. Like, I promise we'll get here. And then we'll, and then we'll, and then we'll be headed on the road that we want to be headed down. Right? Because also, like, it's, it's not a line that you cross. I will never, ever arrive. I'm never going to arrive to the level that I want to be, but I'm going to stay on the road that I want to be and I'm heading the direction that I want to be. And that's where I want you. I want you to get on that road in the direction that you want to be heading. No matter your age, no matter your situation, whether you're 16, whether you're 65, get on the road that you want to and start going for your dreams. It's so epic. Like people talk about, this is a hard time to live in because blah, blah, blah. And I get it. There are. But also anyone at any age, especially now, can just pop off right? You have like 90 year olds who are just now becoming like Instagram phenomenons and making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And at 90 years old, you know, like it's so insane. And same as like 15, seven year olds, skateboarders, I don't know, whatever it is. It's an epic time to live in. And if you are not capitalizing on that, you're wasting that. You're wasting that. You got to go. You got to go for it. You have to go for it. And I am so, so rooting for you. And I am so inspired to tell you this because I know, I, like, I know what it feels like to actually start getting alignment and going for your dream. And I've, I've become the most clear on what it is that I want that I ever have been in my life. Like I was an athlete for years and years and years and years. And that's all I did. I dedicated my whole life to soccer, but it took a turn and I wasn't happy. I was not happy. And so I was going down that road, but I wasn't really clear because I was like, I'm miserable. And then I got off and I had a, a weird couple of years figuring out who I was and how I was going to reinvent myself and show myself to the world. And then I switched over and I feel like I'm I'm thriving. I'm I, like, I, you know, I have my days. You all, we all have good days and bad days, but like I am headed down the path that I want to be on. And I feel like I'm getting one step closer every single day to that next best version of me. And I want you to do the same. I want so many people to do the exact same thing. And I talk about it often. I say, I think, I think we need more leaders. We need more people and leaders. They lead by example. They lead by going after their dreams and, and creating something that's 
epic, inspiring others to do the same. Because the truth is, if you are in a space that you, you don't want to be in and you wish you had more in your life, you're not going to be able to give to the people around you like you want to, like you could be if you were in, in some sort of passion, right? And also, I will say, like some people are like, oh, I just don't have one thing that I want to start that I'm passionate about. Like, dude, that's for most entrepreneurs and, and most business owners. I think like you have a lane that you're at least interested in and you like it enough but it's like, I'm not passionate about soccer every single day I wake up. Like, I'm not, I, you know, I, I am pretty passionate about it, but not to the degree that I was when I was playing. But I'm passionate about growth and I'm passionate about impact. And soccer is my vehicle down the road. Soccer is my vehicle on the road of, of developing myself, of, of having more impact, right? And you just got to find your vehicle. And maybe wherever you're working now, is right maybe you're in it and it's fine but you're still not like you're just like you're scooting by you're comfortable did you got to get uncomfortable it's like it's not rewarding to be comfortable it's not do you i get zero reward being comfortable i that's that's why i have to do something hard pretty much every single day that's why i work out every single day because it's like the easiest way to be uncomfortable every single day and face a challenge. But if you're just incredibly comfortable in your life, dude, that's such a dangerous game. You got to face some challenge. You got to face some challenge. And I will say, I think that our society wants us to be comfortable. They uh, want us to not strive and, for the next version of us because then it takes away from, you know, control and a bunch of other things. I don't need to go on that. <laughs> Don't let me go down that road because I will not come back. Um, <laughs> I'm here. I'm getting myself re relined. Point is, you have so much potential and you got to start going for it. And maybe you're already on the road. Maybe you're similar to me. You're like, dude, I got the business. I got the thing. I'm doing it. But you're not thinking big enough, right? Like that's what I'm in this space of. I'm like, Ooh, I got to think bigger. I got to think bigger. We all got to think bigger to so whatever your dream is that you have right now. First of all, take action today and every single day after, but think bigger. You're still not thinking big enough. You're never going to think like you're never going to think big enough. So always think bigger because typically we think we fall a little below where we want to be consistently, right? We're like, oh, I almost, uh, we chase it, we chase it, we chase it. But if you're just like constantly like here and you're right here, then you're going down to that and it slowly brings you down. And if you're listening to this podcast, I'm sorry, that's, I was doing something with my hands, so it's hard to understand. But I want you to go for it. There's no reason to hold back. You got zero reason to hold back and your life, your dreams, your goals, your wishes, your potential, it's all waiting for you. It's like, it's begging you. And either you're going to take action or not. But I really, really, really hope you do. I hope you take action on all your dreams and all your goals. And thank you so much for listening. Um, if you're wanting to connect on this podcast, uh, hit me up on Instagram and we can connect from there. Thank you so much for listening. Or if you know me, text me. Thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I would greatly appreciate if you could share this episode with five people you think could benefit from the show. Also, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram at Izzy Chinche or my website at IzzyChinche.com. Thank you so much for being you. Keep being a leader, making this world a better place.